violence, hatred, and fear. TPC News Tab, the Peter Channel News Team, save a call. Up next, the weather traffic magician. Traffic magician. The weather magician. Either report. The weather magician with Peter J. Wiggins. That evening report. Thursday. April the 18th, 2013. Good evening, everybody. Current conditions at 5 p.m. at North and on this April the 18th. Temperature is 59 degrees with a humidity of 28%. Uh, wind speed southeast of 14, gusting up to 23 miles per hour. Barometer 30.30 inches. This update is coming after a very emotional day. At a dew point about 26 and a visibility 10 miles per hour. First lady, instead of five, Sean Kelly is live tonight in Boston. Sean. We are going to check the radar and we see a splotch of rain and little rain around the New York metropolitan area and switch it into northeast of New Jersey and around the New York spray between New York and Albany and it's around a couple of parts of extreme northeast of Pennsylvania and into the seven New York. But this is a, where we can get this sort of, the main ingredient of the storm is. The main ingredient is what we're going to get on Friday. Going to get a couple of showers. A little showers, but this is what's been causing all those heavy rain and flooding around the Midwest, probably around the Chicago area and Indiana. So I believe the showers are going to get here by Friday. Okay, 7 day for guys goes like this. Friday the night, isolated showers after midnight. Partial cloudy and patchy fog after 4 p.m. and 4 a.m. Otherwise, mostly cloudy with a low around 50 degrees. South winds about 11 to 13 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 20%. For Friday, scattered showers mainly between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. Patchy fog before 10 a.m. Otherwise, mostly cloudy with a high near 6 to 9 degrees. South winds about 13 to 17 miles per hour with gusts as high as 20 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. For Friday night, a chance of showers and thunderstorms, then showers and possibly a thunderstorm after midnight. Patchy fog. Lower around 54 degrees and stuff was about 14 to 18 miles per hour. Sheds of precipitation, 100%. No rainfall, about uh, 3 to 10 and a quarter of inch, except iron mounts and possible thunderstorm. For Saturday, showers mainly before 1 p.m. High near 61 degrees. West was about 10 to 14 miles per hour with a gust as high as 28 miles per hour. Sheds of precipitation, 80%. No precipitation about between a quarter and half an inch possible. For Saturday day night, mostly clear with a low around 31 degrees. Top west winds about 7 to 13 miles per hour. For Sunday, sunny with high near 54 degrees. Sunday night, mostly clear with a low around 34 degrees. Monday, mostly sunny with high near 53 degrees. Monday night, mostly cloudy with a low around 38 degrees. Tuesday, a chance of showers, cloudy with a high near 55 degrees. Chance of precipitation, 30%. Tuesday night, a chance of showers, cloudy with a low around 44 degrees. Chance of precipitation, 40%. Wednesday, a chance of showers, mostly cloudy with a high near 63 degrees. Chance of precipitation, 30%. Wednesday night, a chance of showers, cloudy with a low around 45 degrees. A chance of Precipitation, 30%, and Thursday, a chance of showers, cloudy with high around 60 degrees. Chance of precipitation, 40%. Peter's weather phrase of the day. Tomorrow will be milder and could be a chance of showers on Friday. This is Peter J. Wiggins saying, have a good day with a good positive attitude. And now, time 503, and it is time now for a traffic magician report, the evening report. Okay, let's start it out with the back bay situation and the back bay has been warded off since Monday closed off due to the, the police safety of the explosion at the marathon on Monday, but the police are doing a good job. So, here the roads closed. Hereford Street between Boston Street and Newberry Street still closed. Belvedere Street between Dalton Street and Hudson Avenue is closed due to police activity. Hudson Avenue between Belvedere Street and Darpa Street closed due to police activity. Ring Road at Hudson Avenue is closed due to police activity. Hudson Avenue is closed between Darpa Street and Belvedere Street. St. James Avenue is closed between Clarendon Street and Dartmouth Street. Newberry Street is closed between Clarendon Street and Hereford Street is closed. Suspects that they are going to reveal just momentarily. All right, 
here and they do not... Traffic-wise, that's Thursday afternoon. This time. So these are photographs, images that were taken. Odile Tuttle. The central is moving on fire on both sides from Stone Drive all the way at the Mass Park. Stone Drive on the eastbound side. Congestion from Route 2 way all the way out. From to the lever connector around the Science Museum and then onto 93 near the Zaken Bridge. Each Mass pipe. Sort of black band or duffel band. Uh, Mola, on both sides from Weston all the way out to and Interstate 93 in Boston and the Mass Pipe. After uh, so by 93 is congestion from 93 all the way you approach the Ted Williams Tunnel. Route 1A, McLeod Highway's Mola, on five. And remember too, if there if there is Route a, one, you've been hearing this approaching from ninety three north is congested from ninety three north all the way out to near the Charleston Navy Yard there. On the north side of rise, it's modified on the south outside from ninety five one twenty eight at Peabody to ninety three and one north is modified from Charleston all the way out to Peabody. Southeast Expressway is more congested on the south outside from Freeport Street and Dorchester all the way out to you approach the bridge we split on the southbound side. The northbound side is a little slow from East Milton all the way out to Morsi Boulevard exit. Expanded on why the investigation was unfolding 93 yesterday in terms of forthcoming with information. Congested from the Zika Bridge all the way out to Route 129 and Corridor and Reading with the intersection there. Southbound side of 93 is more on fire from 95 one train ready to the Zaken Bridge. To put the chain together to 128 the perpetrators. Link from P. to Gloucester is more on fire on both sides. Right one twenty eight congested after you get by the uh, yeah. Route 2 Concord Turnpike on the northbound side, congested on the northbound side from Concord. In the middle of the street, is it as simple as reading? Turnpike all the way out. But as you further come up the street, you approach the, the intersection with exit 39, which is Washington Street and ready. Okay, so they're, they're allow yourself some extra time okay. here. They had been on the roofs of the Route. buildings throughout when the president's visit was here today, and they were they were scouring for any Waltham stretch from one way from Concord all the way up to Weston and is more on five. It would be ladder number 17, apparently. That that is getting them back. And what way it is more on fried on both sections from Newton all the way up to Denham. And after you approach the Route 181, you're about to be sitting on the south outside of congestion from Denham all the way out to Route 24 in Randolph on the south outside. So allow yourself some extra time here. The FBI has said that throughout the day today, no arrests have been made. Secretary 90 is congestion from the Bray Tree Slip, but when you approach Route 24 in Randolph, so allow yourself some extra time here. Of digital sleuths. Um, these are the people that we're talking about from. 123, 93 from 24 to Bridge Split, there's Bullock 5. 93 is Bullock 5, a little congestedly from. After that, 93 is Bullock 5 from 95, 120 to the New Hampshire border. And three, the route. That's Route 3 stop. Now they're back on the route. Generally, it built it as congested as you approach the intersection route, route 128. Number eyes, three is below off five to both sides from. It was supposed to start at five, it's been delayed. 128 to the New Hampshire border. Air. Low connector is below off five to low. 95. Is more uh, five from one twenty to the New Hampshire border. Two thirty more five from Buffalo to the Lawrence. Four ninety five is more five from both uh, sections from Amesbury all the way out to Marlboro. And four ninety five north is congested after you pass by the Mass Pike going through Route Nine extension on north outside in Westburg all the way out to Route Twenty in Marlboro. And the southbound side, not very much better. 495 from Route 20 in Balmer, all the way out to near the Route 9 exit in Westburg. But 485 is more on fine from Westburg to Mansfield, and Mansfield all the way out to Wareham. 
95 North, except for a little congestion as you approach the intersection Route 128 in Canton on the northbound side, is modified from Norwood all the way out to the Rhode Island border. Route 24, congested from 93 128 in Red Dog, stretching out all the way to the Harrison Boulevard exit, which is Route Exit 19B in Avon section. Suspicious individuals. And information that the government. It's waiting for a little congestion as you approach exit 198 on the Harrison Boulevard exit in Avon. But otherwise, the Avon starts to stretch of Northbound 24 is modified and 24 Boulevard growth sections from Avon Brockton. As long as that, that person or All the way to the Red Island border. 140 is modified from Tuttle to New Bedford. Route 3. Moving on 5 from Ray Tree all the way out to Sagmore. 44 Boulevard 5 from Middleborough all the way out to Plymouth. People on roofs investigating. And there is still and no movement in the FBI building. Okay, let's start out in Rhode Island there. 146 is more off of the Rhode Island, Massachusetts border to 95 in Providence. Look at the left hand. 95. That's, that's the base of the grandstand. In the downtown Providence, it's congested. It's very close to what we're As you approach the, the exit 20. Four exit with Branch Avenue in Providence. Meticulously going over this this one. And until you reach the, the Seven Orb Street exit, you're below on five. There two. In the picture right there. Seven all the way out to one eight five. And so now I'm seeing activity in the. The south side, side is below on five from Providence down to the. Wait to see what happens. And more connect border, but on the northbound side of ninety five, congested okay. after you have passed by exit fourteen B, which is with thirty seven in Warwick near the TF Green Airport. Today, All the way down, you approach 195, and then it's this bumper to bumper in downtown Providence from 195 near the 610 connector, and after that, there's more on 5. 610 connector congestion as you reach the 95 in Providence, Route 6. They block through the road construction of US 6 between Leverage Avenue and Route 6A in Providence, Creston. There, 295 is more on 5 from. Alabama to Warwick, 37 to the wall, 5 for 295, 95. Route 4 to the 5 from 95 all the way out to West Kingstown of 7 to the spot, slow spot of Route 4. And around near the top of the cemetery in North Kingstown. 130 mil on fire around the North Port Bridge. This, this is 195. Interesting because now this. Bull on fine from Providence to Wareham and 628 and 25 a bull on fine in King. That's made of the weather and traffic magician in this April 18th, 2013 on the evening report. Peter is Good evening with a goodbye to you. Bye bye for now.